Is your pet leaving you confused with their roller coaster of highs and lows as you try to decide when is the best time to help them transition? Have you made the decision to help your pet transition, booked an appointment, and then canceled it because they got better? Well, you're not alone, and this happens to many pet parents. In today's video, I will share with you why those ups and downs happen also why they seem most like their old selves closest to their transition. By helping you understand why this happens, you'll actually be better able to navigate not only their end of life journey, but also gain more peace in making a decision to help them transition. Welcome to the End and After channel. I'm Hunda Mackinen, certified animal communicator and end of life educator. I offer pet parents information, education, and inspiration to further enhance your understanding and relationship with your beloved pet. Please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below because it really helps a channel like mine grow and reach more pet parents looking to take their relationship with their pet to a new level of communication, compassion, and connection. I want to thank you for being here today. I want to acknowledge you and your willingness to understand your pet's end-of-life experience and your proactive approach not only is helping you prepare and your family, but it's also helping your pet. So the end of life is often misunderstood as only being about the death itself, but it actually begins well before that, and it's all about the journey to the transition. And this time can actually begin years, months, and even days before their actual transition. I've witnessed my own animals throughout my life have their ups and downs in their end of life journey. And before I became an animal communicator, I lamented in the painful aspect of riding this roller coaster of emotions, watching my pet lose a little bit more of themselves and then come close to what I thought was dying and then bounce back to seemingly being their old self again. This always left me not only confused, but it did fill me with a bit of fear, uncertainty, and left me with a whole mixed bag of emotions. But also, it left me with a lot of questions, like, am I waiting too long? Was this the right time? Are they suffering? Are they in pain? Am I making the right decision? Should I cancel my appointment? Because now they seem better, and then I would go ahead and cancel the appointment, and then they got worse. It was a crazy time. So what I've learned both from my work as an animal communicator and walk, talking with animals nearing their transition is that actually each of these ups and downs is not only a part of the end of life journey, it's also needed in the preparation for their transition. So in my understanding from my work, it's actually allowed me to see how each of these ups and downs has also prepared their people for the impending death of their animal. This emotional roller coaster of this time actually helps you get in touch with your emotions and gives you the ability to delve deeper into asking yourself the big question, am I truly ready to let you go? Often when an animal has rallied back after a very low time, you have the opportunity to move through some really deep emotions and find your way back to gratitude that they're actually still here with you and it gives you that time to become more present with them and really cherish the preciousness of the moments that you still are able to have with them. So in essence, these ups and downs are preparing you each time just a little bit more of letting them go. It's also preparing them and it's filling your heart with moments of a love deeper than you ever thought possible. So when I began speaking with more palliative and hospice care workers about what I was experiencing in my work, they shared that this is actually a normal aspect and it's the essence of the physical body way to prepare to transition to spirit. And it takes a lot of energy for the body to release the spirit. And each of these ups and downs is the body's way to gently release a little more to spirit. It is literally like their spirit is leaving in small increments over a period of time. Another common sign that appears near the final day during the end of life, and most often after pet parents have made that decision to assist 
their animal in their transition. Now this is a sign that leaves many pet parents the most confused and doubting that their pet is actually ready to cross over. And many people actually cancel the appointment only to rebook again. So this sign is a sudden energy burst, also known as a pre-death energy surge. And it's documented in many hospice settings. I have experienced this with my own animals, with clients' animals. This pre-death energy surge typically can last from minutes to several hours to even sometimes up to a day. When your pet experiences this burst of energy, they now seem more like their old selves and may even be doing things that they have not done in a really long time, like run around, play. They want to cuddle, they want to eat, they want to go for a car ride or a walk. And in my case, Bosphorus, my 11-year-old Roddy who passed away last year, he wanted to go on a walk on his final day and he was walking well ahead of me with a bounce in his step and we walked like two miles and I hadn't seen him do this in the last year. One animal I spoke with has shared that this was his way to have his last hurrah and celebration and celebrate his love for his mom and dad and since then this is what I often share with pet parents is that this is your animal's way of showing you that last love burst of gratitude of having had time with you now not all animals will actually experience a pre-death energy surge but of the animals that I have worked with who didn't um, experience that they all have shared with me that they love and appreciate the time that they have always had with you and that their heart is bursting with joy and love for you now physically you may also notice your animals final days that they are becoming more interested in eating and drinking and literally sometimes even appear to be like ravenous know that it takes energy to transition and they're fueling their body at the same time there are some other animals who are completely disinterested in food as they've had their fill and they don't need any more food. All animals have shared with me that they know their body best and what they need to be ready for their transition. So if your animal is experiencing a sudden energy burst where they seem most like their old selves, now is the time to embrace and be with them in the present moment. Allow your emotions to come up and savor with the joy and love that they're sharing with you. Make these special moments a lasting memory of your love and time together. Animals have shared with me that when you are a part of their end of life and transition, this is not your final act of love for each other because your love for one another will continue to live on. But this is a way for you to send them in spirit with great love. So when you know this is a normal and natural part of the end of life journey, this now lessens the chances of being surprised and making choices from a place of fear or confusion. Understanding the gifts that these ups and downs bring you as a preparation for each of you and that the energy bursts are their way of showing their celebration of your time together by giving you their best before they transition. This time can bring both of you a sense of peace and it will carry your profound love for each other. And this love and connection is what's gonna help hold you in your loss and your grief after their sacred passage. I wanna thank you for watching today's video. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description below and sign up for more education, information, and inspiration to come into your inbox. Take your relationship with your pet to a new and deeper level. Until next time, stay curious about new levels of communication, compassion, and connection in your relationship with your pet.